Hey Hokie Nation, my name is Maggie Tyler of the women's softball team. Here today with Andreas Biarhus and Amerigo Contini. You guys are playing your last home match of your, of your career this Friday. How's that feel? Uh, it feels weird, I guess. Um, you know, we always, we've always been playing here and there's always next year to come back to. And, and I'm pretty sure we both enjoy the competition and play for the team and we enjoy playing tennis. So, so finally, there's no uh, no playing in the orange and maroon anymore, and and of course that's going to be weird. But um, I think it's also um, about to be a good time to move on. Yeah. Well, you guys have been very successful in your time here. You know, what are some of your favorite memories? Uh, I think my favorite memory was beating Wake Forest last year. Um, maybe two two years ago, actually. Uh, I clinched the match, so that was probably my favorite memory. Yeah. Cool. So you guys are going to finish with both of your names all over the record book here at Tech. You know, what kind of legacy were you guys looking to leave when you came in? Um, that's hard to, I think that's hard to explain because when you come in here, there are so many things that you don't know anything about. Um, how good is the team? How good is the competition in college tennis? We're both from, from Europe, so, so, I mean, I didn't have any goal to to try to leave a legacy or anything, but of course that's something I think we can both be, be very proud of. And, and uh, yeah, I think we both, both contrib contributed to, um, to, the, to the success of this team in a very positive way. And, and yeah, that, that definitely means something to me and that's something I'll look, look back at late, later in my life. Yeah, so you talked about kind of, you know, contributing to the success of this team. Both of you guys have done that. What do you think has been something that has really helped that throughout your years? Um, I think definitely the leadership that um, Coach Jim Thompson installed in the team has been a huge part. Um, and I think even the leadership that guys like Andreas, guys like Joao installed in the team during the years has been um, probably the main part of our success. Um, you know, coming here um, as a freshman, um, you don't really have the impact on the guys that are seniors or, so, or juniors. But um, during your junior and senior year, you have the opportunity to establish a culture and um, you know, a culture of being tough, a culture of working hard. And I think under the leadership of the coaches and I think of the players too, um, that has been the main part of our success. All right, so you're from Denmark and you're from Italy. What has been something that you guys miss the most coming to, you know, coming to America? Um. I mean, definitely the people back home. I think uh, it's the thing that I miss the most. And and also going home every year, you go home with a lot of experiences in your suitcase and and you don't really have anybody back home to, to share these, these memories with. And I think that's something that's something I miss sometimes that, that I share these experiences with, with somebody back home. Yeah, what about you? Uh, definitely my parents um, and my grandma especially. Uh, but I think, um, being from Italy, the thing that I miss the most is definitely the food. Uh, it's going to be such a stereotype, but <laughs> pizza and pasta, <laughs> I would say. Um, you know, w we have the opportunity to travel so much, uh, and Coach Thompson is always like, hey man, I found this really nice Italian restaurant, this is going to be the real deal. And we always get there, and then I'm like, sorry, Coach. <laughs> what's been, what about, what's been the biggest adjustment coming to Blacksburg? Uh, yeah, definitely. I come from a kind of like a big city. Coming to Blacksburg has been, you know, different. Um, but you know, I learned to appreciate Blacksburg. I learned to appreciate the country culture and the uh, southern culture, and uh, definitely country music. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. <laughs> In my last question, what's something that you guys have come to like about America? I think that um, in America, they are very good at um, honoring people and recognizing when. When somebody somebody's doing very well, and regardless if it's in college or professional sports or in business and stuff like that, I think I think here you're not here people are not afraid to to um, celebrate that and honor that. And I think sometimes, especially in Denmark, we are a little bit uh, careful with those things, and you can't really you can't really go and, and say that yeah, I think I'm very good at this. You're more like uh, kind of more laid back in that regard and, and not too too outgoing and I think that's that's something I've learned a lot from and and that's something I think uh, I'll, I'll take with me when I go back home after graduation. How about you? 
Um, I would say definitely the uh, attachment to universities. Um, I mean, I think it's unbelievable that we can fill up a stadium like Lane Stadium every single time that we play football here. And it's, it's unbelievable to me to see how passionate people are um, towards our university and other universities. I think that's something that Europe and especially Italy needs to learn from. Um, I mean, being a student athlete is just an incredible opportunity, and uh, we don't have that in Europe. We don't, we don't have the possibility to play a sport in such a competitive environment and to still be able to study. It's either you play a sport or you study, and I think, I mean, combining the two is just so powerful and meaningful to everyone. Yeah. Again, I'm Maggie Tyler. Until next time, Hokie Nation. Yeah, come out on uh, Friday and watch us play. It, it's, it will be the last time you have the opportunity to see Amerigo's forehand here in, uh, in Blacksburg, so you should definitely come out and, and enjoy that.